Ramadan is uh, the ninth month of the Islamic calendar and it's quite an important month. So during this time, over the 29 or 30 days, uh, Muslims fast, which means they, they abstain from food from dawn right through to sunset. And it's really a period of self-control, self-reflection, and just appreciate uh, what you've got. It's a, it's a question that I'm often asked by the players, what, not even water? Uh, and it is, it's absolutely no food, no fluid uh, whatsoever. We are close to, uh, to God, uh, praying a lot, uh, read, uh, read uh, the Quran also a lot, uh, spend the time with, uh, with, with the family. It, it's something that he's been doing for a long period of time and even before Ramzan starts, sometimes he will practice as well, doing it a couple of days uh, of the week so his body gets used to it. So the body is, is, is quite good in terms of adapting to the lack of food and fluid. Obviously it's much harder for an athlete compared with myself because of the fact that the most important thing is that they need to be well hydrated. But they make sure that in the period that they can eat and drink, so from, you know, uh, in the evening, uh, right through till morning, uh, they'll have uh, several times lots of fluid and lots of food then. It's, it's depend on the, your head, you know, it's like uh, mental, you know, something like uh, like mental. If you come in to say, yeah, if it's going to be hard, it's going to be hard, but if you come mental, it's the, the more hard month is like if you do that, that in the pre-season. That prob probably is because of the fact that's during when it's the longest time uh, from uh, dawn to sunset. So it can be anything up to 18 hours plus. Uh, and the reason it's shorter or it comes uh, earlier every year is because the Islamic calendar is about 10 days shorter than the Gregorian calendar by 10 days. So as a result, each year the Ramadan uh, arrives earlier by 10 days. And after the night when we, when, uh, we get the Ramadan, like uh, eating, talking, it's like very, very, very nice. Yeah. So as soon as the sun goes down, that's the time to eat. And again, we have to be careful that uh, as soon as uh, it is time to eat, that we don't go crazy and, and undo all the good work that we've done by not eating during the day. So we normally open the fast with um, some quick release carbs, so uh, a date and some milk, uh, we usually go and pray, and then we'll have another small meal after that. It's like a rice, rice and, uh, and fish with, uh, with, uh, with some onion, we call, we call uh, this food like uh, yasa is uh, very very good. Yeah. For myself, it's a, a period where I reflect on how appreciative I have for everything that I've got. Um, remember those that are less fortunate than yourselves, and also the time for charity as well. So as well as you know the sacrifice that we make in terms of giving up food and, and fluid, also at the end of the month we give two and a half percent of what we own to charity as well. It's very very good. To, to try because uh, I remember Christian Benteke is no Muslim but he do that with me one <laughs> one day we, we go after we, we go in uh, in his house he do the Ramadan me Mama Jordan and he also he do the Ramadan <laughs> and, and he, he he pray also with us in the night yeah it's very very good yeah it's very good experience for him yeah but uh, maybe uh, uh, this month is going to be uh, not the same. Normally you'll spend the time when you open your fast with friends and family, go to the mosque, and as a result of the pandemic, all those things which everyone else has found it difficult to do as well, meeting up with friends and family, um, having meals outside, uh, you know, you're not able to do. So that's why it's probably a little bit more difficult. Because Eid is something like uh, we do that together, enjoy the time, everything is positive. It's, uh, it's like a big moment for, for all us here. Yeah. It's very, very good. It's, uh, it's an unbelievable moment yeah, for us. I think first and foremost, just hope that it's, uh, it's a successful Ramadan for all. Uh, be grateful for what we have and uh, hopefully we can celebrate uh, uh, an Eid Mubarak at the, uh, at the end of Ramadan.